Distemper Distemper is a water paint that consists of chalk, glue, and casein, binder. They are available in different shades and under different trade names. It is most common type of interior paint. Types Acrylic distemper is washable and can be applied on plaster, wool and asbestos. Synthetic and dry distemper are not washable and not commonly in use. Distemper Surface Preparation Clean the wall surface thoroughly, preferably with a scrapper and polish paper. Rub the surface with fine grade paper to ensure the proper adhesion of color. Clean any greasy spots and smoky surfaces carefully. Wait at least two months before application. Preparation of Distemper Primer Preparation Prepare the primer by adding 0.40 liter of turpentine to 0.80 liter of ready-made cement primer to cover 10 square meter of the wall and apply the primer with a brush on the total surface of wall. Allow the primer to dry for at least 24 hours. Putty Preparation Prepare the putty by mixing 3 kg of whiting powder with 0.25 liter cement primer, 0.25 liter synthetic enamel. 0.15 liter linseed oil and water. Water to cover 10 square meter. Wall surface. Fill up undulations of minor nature, dense, cracks so that surface becomes smooth to receive paint. First coat of distemper. Use 1 kilogram of dry distemper to cover 10 square meter area and add 0.8 liter of water to it. Add 25 grams glue in 1 kilogram of dry distemper. To get more adhesion of paint to the wall surfaces, stir this mixture well and apply brush strokes first horizontally and the immediately vertically. Allow the surface to dry for at least 24 hours. Second coat of distemper. Use half a kilogram of dry distemper and add 25 grams of adhesive for 1 kilogram of paint. Stir this mixture well and apply it in same manner as first coat. Apply successive coats of paint only after the prior coat has dried completely and not before 12 hours. Drawbacks Film is thicker and more brittle than water paints. Application should not be done in damp weather. Upon drying, it forms cracking and flaking due to shrinkage.